Instagram's new app called Threads. Yeah. Okay, bro, this is huge. For us here, refreshing the feed. It's, probably, it's literally called refreshing the feed for a reason. Yeah, and now, there's, through it. now there's a new app called that we're going to be refreshing. Um, basically, Mark Zuckerberg is, it's a Mark Zuckerberg versus Elon battle royale. Uh, uh, yeah. Right? It's a, it's a 1v1. Yeah. This app, I personally think, is going to take the craziest spin on how, how Twitter is used, number one. And how Instagram is used number two. Okay. So a lot of people are not are complaining, but there's a lot of memes right now of that there's a lot of apps. There's a lot of social so media apps and that everyone's using all of them. So many. be real, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now this yeah. threads. Um Say TikTok. Yeah, so, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, yeah. Some six su- and YouTube shorts. Let's not forget. Um some su- a success story to say the least. Over 30 million users in under 24 hours, which is huge. It's yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And that has to be mostly accredited to the fact that it implements with Instagram so well and the followers are the same. So it's basically like a sidecar kind of app right now to Instagram. It's a sidecar kind of app. Right? And the reason why I think people are really adopting and it's seen so much success in the first 24 hours is because it gives off of, at least for me, it gives off a vibe similar to Snapchat that's mm-hmm. very personal, yet yet also you can share a lot. And hear me out. Twitter is so political and generally usually public and like you're very scared to say what some things on Twitter yeah. because it's been known to just blow shit out of, out of the water. With Instagram now and have it being your followers that are following you and tending to, it kind of feels a little more private. I don't know, for some reason, okay. maybe because you have a subconscious connection with those followers already. So what I, what I thought of was this app is turning into a way to make public conversations, but privately it's, it's, it's complicated right now. It's complicated. I'm still getting the feel for it. So if, if it's something, if it, like, if we sign up. Are you the only people you follow are the ones that you follow on Instagram? Yeah. So there's a, there's a couple different ways to, to, to launch the yeah. app. Obviously it's a, it's its own individual app. Yeah. Like that I so. mentioned. Um, and then you can basically transfer all your data over from Instagram, okay. like your bio, your profile pic, yeah, whatever. your, whatever it is, all that stuff comes over. Okay. Um, your ta- like your handle, it all comes over from thing. Um, and then you receive actually in your bio on your Instagram, a little tag underneath your profile pic, and I'll throw throw it up on the screen, that has your threads, it's a threads logo, it's like a link, yeah, and then a number, and that you can click that. That brings it to your, your profile on threads. Okay. Um, but no one, it's like a pin. Remember, remember yeah. Blackberry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a pin. Yeah, the, I guess the way that they integrate it is, is definitely smart. Like, it definitely took time. 100%, bro. I just think they probably they, like you. Could, they could have had so much more success if you condense it into one app. Like th- just, threads, just allow threads. Thread, yeah, just allow threads to be on Instagram. You not that you're going to steer a lot of a lot of um, people away from it, but it's like, fuck. Now there's another app. Yeah, I said, like, yeah. you know what I mean. Twitter already does what this thing does, and Twitter was the first of its kind to do what it does having breaking news instantly at your fingertips being able to you know put out things that how you feel not like like next to facebook and all that stuff but facebook i feel like it was more um you were you were waiting more for news to come out and then once you post kind of have to sign in to go in but twitter you can get basically get notifications right away right yeah so i think they're, they're obviously trying to mimic what twitter is about by just implementing it into something that's a little more popular yeah because i think twitter has its has its um its its followers, its group of people. It's not tailored to everybody. It's not tailored to the younger generation, that's for sure, which is what Instagram is. Yeah. Right? So you see a lot of like the older generation using Twitter because they're used to it now. 
and they're used to like, you know, news outlets and sports outlets and, and everybody getting, you know, news out there ASAP. But when it comes to the younger generation, you know, all the gen, 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 gen Z, Gen Y, Gen Z is the whatever they are, right? yeah, or Gen the y. one that grew, the, the one that are going through, like you know, the TikTok phase. That you know, they grew up with Instagram. Like me, I grew up with Facebook and Twitter. I grew up with Instagram, right? So it's like your generation. They're like, oh fuck, like what's this new thing? Which is what we were doing at the time that Twitter came out. So it kind of gauges that that following now too, right? But for for entrepreneurs and like, um, what the fuck is the word for um, uh, influencers? that their life revolves around Instagram. I think it's a G ge- I think it's genius. I think it's genius in the terms of, of creating something that lets you integrate. And I think the, the, the ease of how to integrate your profile on Instagram and, and kind of connect it to the profile now on, on this, what's called straight st- steams, stems, steams, threads, threads. It's, I think it's, I think it's genius. I, okay. I it, it's shit that it's, it's two separate apps. I mean, it's obviously fuck. It was probably, it's probably so hard to integrate into one app with the amount of shit that's probably going through, the amount of information that they'd have to do. And, but, um, yeah. Yeah. I like they can take a peek. Oh my God, bro. It, honestly, I, I don't use Twitter at all. I, I really didn't use it for the, its entire life or my entire life, whatever. I was, I was around longer than I was on socials, but I didn't really use Twitter. I didn't really understand it. It was, I, I'm more Instagram oriented and, and like, there's a reason behind that. It's just, there's so many politics involved with Twitter. I do think it's a great platform, but like, it's got some serious competition now and I'm doing the math, 30 million users. It's definitely more now. Mm-hmm. I'd probably say from the last time I checked, it was 30, which yeah. was like, like maybe five hours ago. I'd probably say it's around 50, 40 to 50 million okay. users. I'd say easily because in the first two hours, there was 2 million users. In the first six hours, there was, or sorry. In the first two hours, there was 10 million users. In the first six hours, there was, I don't know, Zuckerberg, went to, uh, he went off about on, on actual threads. But doing the math at 2.36 million, uh, sorry, billion, is it 3.6? 3.5. billion. We're not good at math, by the way. So hopefully you get it right this time. No, I got it. I got it right this time. I have to go sideways. That's 2.35 million, a billion. Yeah. Divided by... 330 million. That's wrong. I'm getting it back now. 30 million divided by 235 billion, 2.35 billion is 1%. It's just over 1% of their users. So take that in. It's only 1% of the Instagram users. That's a fucking small number. And it's 30 million. That's how many people use Instagram. You know what I mean? Like, but how many people are going to adopt to this new app? So this is the way I approach it. And will you get 10%? Like fucking 10% is a lot of people. 10% is 300 million. Like f- over 300 million. So yeah. How many, how many uh, what does Twitter have? Uh, I had it's it a here. Great fucking. In 2023, they have 450 million. 450 million users. Right. But this is the thing, right? Because I'm spraying content on this thing so far. If you, any of the platforms I'm on, I don't post more than once or twice a day. Yeah. Maybe let's say three times if you count stories or anything. But I literally posted four times in 25 minutes yeah. on this platform. Yeah. So that the just goes to show, yeah, it's the convenience. And it just goes to show that this can go two ways. It's like following and things like that, but things get reposted and and that, and a sort of that that sort of vibe and it's going to be one big clusterfuck of info. Yeah. And then it turns back into Twitter essentially, right? Cuz Twitter is just an absolute clusterfuck of info. And you get like the thing about reposting is kind of upsetting because it diminishes the app in a way that all your followers can like some random fucking shit, and then the, then it becomes uh, it comes on your page. Then it's on your feed. Are you talking about Twitter? Both. They both well, have the reposting full, feature. Full th- threads. If you repost or if you let's say I don't know what 
retweet, repost. for instance. Yeah, I retweet or you, you repost. You see it on your... I see it because I'm following them. The, whoever and it'll say, like, repost, yeah, like, makes a tweet or likes a thread or whatever the fuck. Yeah, like, if it says Marco Storino reposted this, yeah, and, it's a, it. and it's about fucking, uh, whatever, something random, fucking some shit, and yeah. I don't even give a fuck about it, and then I'm going to view it. You know what I mean? And I think that diminishes the app. If they would have took the route with not being able to repost, but only like, commenting, and sharing... I feel like it's so much better, and obviously the interface is the exact same. All the like, comment, share button, yeah. it's all the same as, uh, it's the same as Instagram, it's the same, uh, everything pretty yeah. much looks the same, but I, th honestly, I think this is the future, and I say that about a lot of things, but I think this is going to give Twitter a serious run for its money, number I one, know. with all the controversy it's had with censorship and things, and the, and the porn is not going to be on there. For lack of for lack of better, that's sort of the bottom line. Yeah, Twitter is full of that. Well, because Instagram censors that stuff, and the community guidelines are still valid within yeah, yeah, Threads, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So yeah, I know what you're. I know what you mean. Yeah, like it, it changes the game. Twitter takes a vibe. Once yeah, the privacy and all that stuff is much better on Instagram. That'll follow through on Threads, which Twitter it's a much open platform. So I, I get where you're. I get yeah. what you're saying. Do I think that users from Twitter are going to leave Twitter and go over to Threads? No, no, no. Because, like I said, it's two different it's two different groups of people. It's two different followings that you can um, that you can already see, right? Like, I mean, compared to the Instagram Instagram users, compared to the Twitter users, it's like tenfold. Yeah, with whatever the numbers that you just gave me, right? Yeah. So to say that Threads is not going to pass Twitter, it's an understatement because. At the numbers that Instagram has, it should. Yeah, it should. Like you would expect it to have more followers. You yeah. expect it to have more users. So it's just because it, the amount of users compared to Twitter is, is just astonishing. Do I think it's going to have more validity in terms of having access to, you know, up to date news, up to date, like, you know, sports news, wh whatever the case may be? For me, I use it a lot for, you know, breaking news, um, weather updates, uh, anything sports related, whether it's free agency in any of the major leagues. Am I going to, do I think that, that Threads is going to take over that fact and it's going to be more relevant? Definitely not. I don't think anybody can take that away from Twitter. Yeah, it, it'll be tough. Yeah, it's definitely going to be tough in that sense. But I think the integration between the between the apps, um, it, it's definitely new and exciting for, for that generation that was, that was um, grown up using Instagram. Yeah, instead of Twitter. Instead of Twitter. And instead of Facebook. You know what I mean? Because it's something new, it's something exciting. And it's text-based, which, again, when it's... And I've been getting notifications all day about it, which is, again, supporting the launch. Because when you get notifications and, and people see it and they're like, what's well, that? knows that it's, it's, it's all over. It's right? Yeah. So the, um, the fact that, again, building on that, it's a text-based social platform. It has to be... The ease of posting and the ease of being able to pump out five different posts a day, right, without even thinking twice about it, is what separates it from Instagram and then takes it to a whole nother level because it, it becomes like TikTok. TikTok, you need to post five times a day to, yeah. to have success. Yeah. You need to post six times a day. And yeah. like Addison Ray and all those big names were doing at that time. Yeah. And you have five, to. six times a day. And it's just like youth, three, four, five trends. If you come up with a certain number of ways to create public conversation, because that's what the platform is intended for. Yeah. It's to well, it's go for. Yeah. And then they, it, 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 catch, it catches fire and yeah. things like that. But that high number of involve, and engagement and involvement and publishing is like astonishing to know that it's going to take it to the next level. Because Twitter, I feel, is people come attack you instantly if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 100%. And this is more like opinion-based questions. Twitter's everything. Twitter's like every, everything. All text-based everything. This is more like the objective is to create public conversations. That's what the even the CAO, I think. That's what they CE, uh, C, whatever, whatever yeah, the fuck, CMO, whatever. Is, yeah. They tried to, they, he came out and said, and it was like, Okay, so this is more personal. Like you feel it right away yeah. because it's Instagram. It's you're more connected to the people that you're. you're yeah, it's not full of, with. It's not full of ads. It's not full of yeah. like shit, like random shit and news. And at least for right now, yeah. right? You don't know if the the channels and the the big platforms are going to adopt it yeah. eventually. But 100%. I I, just, I think that it has to. It ha people have to maintain the use of it because I feel like. 
couple months down the road, maybe a year from now, I feel like we can look back. I wouldn't be surprised to say that it was a fad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was a fad. People used it for a couple months. They got tired of it. It wasn't something that everybody did routinely. You know, it wasn't like an Instagram and it's like, you know, people post on their story how many times a day if you're an influencer. I, I'm worried that, well, not that I'm worried, but I wouldn't be surprised if we, if we look back and, and, it, and it was a, you know, it was not a flop a joke, but it was a flop. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, tell, I just, I think it's different. I don't think, I don't think Twitter will ever be that way, but I like the fact that, um, they're coming out with something new to do what Twitter did. Yeah. Cause Twitter has been stagnant for yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. It's been the same shit. Over Elon tried again. to stir shit up. You know what I mean, it's, it's been the same shit. It's, it's done well, obviously it's done really well and it will continue to be really well because people use it and especially for what people use it for. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It's it's kind of cool and exciting. I think it's it's obviously better than TikTok. I fucking hate that app, but that's just my opinion. Right? I the reason why I think it's not gonna flop is because it's not a one off. It started already as a as a part of the umbrella of Meta yeah, and continuation. Yeah, and I feel like it's not like a be real because be real. Yeah, it's, be real was the is a one off. It no association with other brands so it's difficult to get it off the ground that's one thing it does you have it's a great fundamental concept really great and it still struggles i believe like i think to com to compete with other other big platforms right so the the reason why is because now you have that foundation of the trusted instagram built into it already and meta and yep. the marketing that's going to go behind it yep. and the and the development from literally the one of the biggest company if not the, the biggest, biggest developer company in the world yeah you know right. what i mean like it, it may, they may not be but like it, it can be so it's like there's no way it can yeah. fail there's no way it can fail yeah i don't think it'll fail i just whether I, it I doesn't have as many users as expected yeah or, or it doesn't whatever we don't, but, we don't know right we don't know until that time comes who knows but it's exciting. It's something new. It's, it's something sick. people to use. It's sick, and I right? love it. I love it. I love it because That's it's not like it. it's not like reels or TikTok. It's not turning your brain into mush. It's text. It's reading. It yeah. feels. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. feels first fucking, of all, yeah, yeah, like yeah. It yeah. feels good. I know like, what I mean. Because you're so used to scroll, well, scroll, think, read, think read. It, we haven't had something like this since Twitter. Every single outlet that we've had has all been like pictures, videos, reels. Shit like that. That's yeah. what's been, like, you know what I mean? Be real. TikTok, um, Instagram was all pictures and, you know what I mean? And, until you got to like reels and stories and shit like that. But we've never had, we, we haven't had a, a text, some like thread yeah. in a long time. And yeah. that's what you hope gauges people's interest, right? Yeah. It was like, I feel like it went like a roller coaster, that involvement, that like so, like sub, subconscious involvement with text mm -hmm. and like fonts and, and the way it's presented. We went from, at least on I've been alive, Twitter, Facebook, very text oriented, not mm -hmm. maybe images, not a lot of video, yeah. very minimal video. Then we went to the image age with Instagram and it was images of quotes, a lot of images of text, mm -hmm. right? And, and like passages and this and like inspirational stuff yeah. and whatever. And then the image phase, obviously with actual like images, not that aren't just of text. And then we made our way into the video boom with Vine and then eventually Reels and eventually TikTok and eventually yeah. YouTube. Now we're we're caught up to that space. But at the tail end of that is is captions, is subtitles. Mm -hmm. And subtitles they, they something about bold with text with drop shadow really engages the viewer. And just text in general. Because I how many those different you want those different um you know, they want the different features to catch people's eyes, right? You want, you want to have that, the difference and you want to have like different things that are going to like fucking interest people. Not always the same shit. Yeah. And like, how many times have you watched a reel or a TikTok and you've been staring at the captions the whole time yeah. and you're or not really, it's, yeah. You look at a TikTok and just look for the comments. And just look at the comments. But like, you know what I mean? And it, it's it, subconsciously, it's like the text the texting is like already begun. It, it already started. It, yeah. You know what I mean? It's weird because people take time to develop like really engaging text and, and captions mm -hmm. because people gravitate towards it. Yeah. Maybe it's like an innate thing that from our, from our childhood, we've been taught to read and, and whatever. Like, so it's we're made up. That's where, how we're fucking grown up. Everybody.
and it's like a marketing strategy and advertising strategy, a billboard with giant text. And you're often times you're willing to look or your eyes gravitate towards yeah. it because generally and street signs, it's like, it's really like a psychological game because like there's text everywhere. And generally it means something important when you see text in an unconventional way. Like yeah. you read a, you read a book, you know, the text is in there. You're walking down the street, you see some text. You're like, oh fuck it. This probably means something. True. You know what I mean? So it's kind of psychological. You more towards text than a picture. Yeah. I know what you're you know what I mean. Like, that's if I like saw, the bigger picture. Yeah. Like if you saw a billboard with a picture of that, with that behind you, you probably would look at it maybe, but if you saw a billboard behind you that said need car insurance or some stupid shit like that, you'll probably end up reading it because it's so easy to read. Exactly. Right? Like you'll, you a higher chance of you reading it, which is interesting to me. Very, it's like psychological. That's what, I, that's why I was thinking about it. And I was like, yeah. why do I feel like this is just like natural instead of like it is drowning my brain out with videos and, and, I know. and shit like that. Right. So I don't know. It's interesting. It makes a difference. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what happens and excited to see what direction it takes. But Zuckerberg killed it. Yeah. There couldn't have been any, literally anyone else that would have been able to do that. No. I, I don't think I any other platform. Failed. TikTok would have failed. Snapchat I mean, would have failed. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Apple. Maybe. Oh my God. For sure, yeah, maybe Apple. If it was maybe built into the inter, if it was built into yeah. actual, th yeah, for sure, maybe no. Apple. But they don't have a, they don't have a social, like you know, social media app in order to. But they have the, it, but the thing is, the users. That's yeah. what it is. They have, they have the have fucking users. most users. Yeah, probably the most users of everyone. Yeah, of course, right? which is super interesting. Um, it's just crazy how how tech is like. We're we have so much at our fingertip, and like something fucking new comes out. And it's like, oh fuck, like you, you, like a snap of a finger, and it's like, oh, what is it? Yeah, and how much we just gravitate towards it it's just crazy oh, society is like, within 10 hours i was on it uh, not even 10 hours like the next morning like this morning it had come out i know i saw it a couple hours after and i was like on that ship like, i was on it i, I was like right posting. On instagram uh, on stories i'm like well, what the fuck is this new thing right and it just it's just so oh, easy to adopt use. exactly so easy to adopt right? because instagram is like one of the most used so with the minute you go on there it's everywhere yeah, it's like right in front of you. Literally, face. literally, I found it instantly, and I was on it, and I, within twenty minutes of me downloading, I had already posted four times, bro. I'm telling you, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this shit's for me. This shit is definitely for me.